Hello everyone, what's going on? Get after the Master 974 here again today and welcome to another showcase style video. This time around I've got this project called C Strike SDK 2013. Now honestly I've meant to do this as it says here like one month ago and I've just deferred it for no particular reason so I apologize for the delay in getting this video out. But as you can see here it is made by Vex08 so big ups and shout outs. And what this is, is, well, it says it's Counter-Strike Source 2017 based on Source SDK 2013. So if you're going to have the idea that this is Counter-Strike Source running in Source SDK 2013 multiplayer, then I have to ruin your, uh, you know, assumptions immediately off the bat because this is actually more Counter-Strike Source related. Now, if you go into MP and SRC, it just takes you straight to the source code. And you can dig into it if you want to. You've got the game server client and um, in this case C strike and everything related to Counter Strike source code would be here, like how the bots work, how the hostages work, and all this sort of stuff as well that you might be interested in looking into. So what I did was I downloaded this before it had an update. So in my version, if we go right here, you see we've got an MP folder. But then you've also got a game folder and this is important as well because you need a mod C strike folder and then the bin will have your client and server.dll files then CFG uh, server blacklist that's not too important custom that's for any custom content uh, maps the only one here is dust2 pretty good map uh, materials VGUI logos okay so that's not particularly important either uh, resource uh, mod C strike English perhaps and look at that 241 kilobytes so you know there's going to be a lot of stuff here so I'm not going to show you too much of that um, root which I think is just uh, counter strike source main stuff and then shaders I don't know if that works necessarily and sound there's nothing but gaminginfo.txt is pretty important so I'll have to show you this um, so if I just uh, increase the size of the font, so something massive and zoom in, zoom it in even more. Um, so yeah, you just have game info, game, whatever you want to call it, Counter Strike, uh, source, multiplayer only, no models, no high model, no crosshair, advanced crosshair, presumably bots one, hidden maps, node graph zero, and file system. I think this number's wrong actually, I might have to look into that. And of course, because the text is so zoomed in, some of these are uh, like overflow, which is not nice. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything that's supposed to be included in the game folder that you're going to need because that's not well, that's no longer provided. So they might need to, uh, you know, update that on their GitHub page. But um, to be able to create the project, you just want to run the create all projects batch file. And assuming you've got Visual Studio 2013 installed or followed my episode zero tutorial on the channel you should get a .sln file which is a solution and um, that opens up Visual Studio so if I just do that then you can deep dive into the source code and make modifications and compile the code and go on from there so if I go under say server C strike over here then source files then counter strike DLL weapon and let's take a look at the 5.7 for example. I don't think it's a particularly bad weapon. I don't play CS, so if you want to have a chuckle at that and laugh at me for saying that's a good weapon, then go right ahead. But what isn't going to be a laughing matter is under primary attack, I am going to completely comment out the primary attack function. So it isn't going to do anything when you try to use it. So I've got the release build here. Let's just build solution, see what happens. And I'll be back once this has finished compiling because it's going to take a little while. And I'm back everyone. As you can see here, it says 23 succeeded and one failed. So if we just build the solution again, we can see that the issue is with QCIs. Now this is a project that always fails for me because it can't open this nafxcw.lib file, but that's not needed. All that's needed is the client and server.dll files and they have built correctly. So if I go to my folder here where this game is, then if we go to game mod C strike and bin, then we can see our client and server.dll projects have been updated correctly. So I'm going to copy these and inside of your Counter-Strike source 
install directory, you want to have your mod C strike folder right here. And as you can see, it's the same stuff that I would have just outlined the game info.txt, for example, which, uh, yeah, I think it uses Steam app ID 240 and not, you know, 243,750. So that is needed for the game to run because this is going to run off of Counter Strike Source, with the main difference being that we are going to use our own client and server.dll files, which means it's going to execute our whatever code we have inside of our solution here. So in this case, when I boot into the game and load up a map and deploy the 5.7 weapon, what you'll find out is that it's actually not going to do anything. So let's try that. So you'd have to go to Counter Strike Source, you want to go to Properties, and under Launch Options, you want Dash Game and then the name of the mod folder. So in this case, it's Mod C Strike. So if I boot into the game, and it might look a little laggy for a moment, so I apologize for that. So I might just need to wait a little bit for the OBS frame rate to turn around and say, yeah, it's, uh, you know, okay now before I actually start playing the game or anything. So, yeah, I'm not a massive Counter-Strike player. I might have said this, but uh, anyway, let's just create a server. We've got um, DE Dust 2 CPU players. Yep. Uh, give it some random ass password that no one's ever going to guess in a million years. Then... Yeah, just, um, oh yeah, bot name profile ass, let's go, just, just start the game, let's see how this goes, see how this looks. And let's see if my hypothesis is correct, that if we deploy the 5.7, then it isn't actually going to do anything. So let's um, auto assign, auto select, here we go, we load up the buy menu, we've got our pistol, and we've got the 5.7 right here. And as you can see, we've got a mate right next to me. We've got Ass Tyler and Ass Don, who's joined the game. Joined the game, excuse me. And I have spotted a friend. So if we go down this way, there's bound to be someone coming out of here. And I want to get into a firefight and show you what I mean. So if we just go around here, then okay, let's just go around to the enemy spawn. Let's see if we see anyone. Oh, Ass Tyler killed Ass Don. That's not a good thing. There might have been a guy down there, I don't know. And um, this is why I don't like CS as well. I'm just not a competitive multiplayer kind of person. So, oh, the bomb's been planted. We've got to stop him. Where is he? Is he over here? He's right there. Oh, yeah, if you're here, I'm clicking and it's not doing anything. He's right there. And the gun didn't fire. So that means the code works. Ass Tyler for most kills. You know what? Fuck you, Tyler. How about I quit the game? How about that? How'd you like them apples, huh? Alright, so that's just a quick showcase of Counter-Strike Source 2013. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if I didn't delay this so much, you could have done this as an April Fool's prank to your friends and say it was leaked Counter-Strike 2 footage. And you just do that for all the weapons, just make it so the primary attack function here just doesn't do anything, so... You know, you go to use a weapon, go to fire it, and nothing happens. And that would be quite funny if you ask me. But uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Um, so let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if there's any other projects you want me to do a kind of showcase video of. And I'll definitely consider it. I know someone's wanted me to look at a couple projects in particular. One involving Portal and one involving a complete Source Engine release. So... That could be something to look into and I've tried to leave a comment like three times and it hasn't worked or it hasn't showed up on my comment section or anything so you know who you are but anyway I'll leave you to have a great day, peace out, see you later and take care out there.